the problem says Granny Smith Electronics Company has manufacturing plants in Mesa, Arizona and China. Both plants manufacture GS phones and tablets. The following matrix gives the production costs in dollars for each item at the Chinese plant. So the material to manufacture the phone in China is $85. The material to manufacture the tablet in China is $120. The labor for the phone, $65. The labor, labor, labor for the tablet, $80. Part A says, in Mesa, a phone costs $100 for material and $90 for labor. A tablet costs $135 for material and $95 for labor. Write the production cost matrix for Mesa. So in other words, they want an answer for part B much like the, the information we were given in Part A. It says a phone costs $100 for material. So in the material row and the phone column, our entry is $100. $90 for labor for a phone. A tablet costs 135 for material and 95 for labor. And that's all it's asking you to do in Part A. Part B says, suppose labor costs increase by $3 for each item in China. So it's talking about this matrix here. This is the China matrix. Okay. Suppose labor costs increase by $3 for each item in China and material costs increase $3 for a phone and $5 for a tablet in China. What is the new production cost matrix for China? Okay, so we need to update the numbers to reflect the price increases. It says labor increase three dollars for each item. So where labor was originally 65 for a phone it's now 68 and where it was originally 80 for a phone since it's going up three dollars it's now 83. It says material increased three dollars for a phone so 85 increased by three is 88 and five dollars for a tablet so it goes up to 125 that is your answer to part b that's your new production cost matrix for china now if you're wondering what this has to do with adding or subtracting matrices i could have explained part b as follows take the original production cost matrix for China, the one we were given. Add to it a matrix that gives the price increase. So the labor increase is three for each item and the material increase is three for the phone and five for the tablet. And so had we added these two matrices, which is what we're studying in this lesson, we would have obtained the same answer that we already have. Now, if I put this problem on a test, you don't need to show this work at the bottom. You can just write the answer down as I originally did because it was that easy. But I am just went on here to explain you that this did actually have relevance as far as adding matrices is concerned even though on the test there's no work to show for part A or for part B you can just write the answer down and get full credit.